Okay, here we go. Now, um, to start off with, you can wear the slide wherever you feel comfortable. I'm, I use it on my third finger. Um, I've seen some people use it on other fingers, pinky, even other fingers. Uh, but I'm going to have it on my ring finger here. And um, basically, you just want to remember that whatever fret I say, like if I say third fret here on the E string, you actually want to put, instead of putting that slide behind the fret like you normally do, behind this third fret here, you're going to put it actually on top, right on top of that fret, right down the middle, to actually get the right pitch in the note. Because if you're just back a little bit, you'll go flat and the solo will sound weird. So you need to remember to play right on top of the fret. And um, if you want to put some vibrato in there instead of going up and down with the string like you normally do, you're going to slide back and forth this way, but not a ton, unless you want a really big vibrato, but um, if you just want a little bit like, you know, typical vibrato, you're just going to go back and forth like this. Okay, so that's basically a couple of things to remember. Other than that, um, if you've got a free finger somewhere behind the slide to keep those strings quiet on the back side of the note, you want to do that too. So you'll notice I put my fingers on the strings behind the slide as well. And that's to keep the string quiet back behind it because it'll make a secondary note um, to the main one that you're playing if you don't mute behind it. Okay, that should be everything. Now, having said that, I'm not a fantastic slide guitar player. Matter of fact, I never practice it, to be honestly. I'm more, or to be honest, I'm more of a, a guitar slide owner. I own one of these. But other than that, I don't claim any special talent towards it. Um, I should practice it more, but um, it's just something I've let go um over the past few years. Having said that, I can still teach this solo. It's not too bad. This is the first solo that happens in the song and uh, it's obvious which part I'm going to be playing here because it's the slide guitar part. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to start off in the third fret on the uh, B string here. I'm going to slide it all the way to the 17th fret here. And Remember we're talking about the actual fret wire so slide from that fret wire to that fret wire. Okay, and that's just to start off the solo. Okay, slide up there. You can maybe go a little bit quicker than that for the actual solo. Okay, now when you get there, I'm not vibratoing it because when you get there, you're going to immediately hit 17th fret on the skinny E string. Okay, hopefully you can hear that. I know it's pretty quiet, but uh, I'm on the 17th fret of the E string there. So all the way up on the B string and then hit that E string. Okay, now after you've done that, um, you're going to hold that 17th fret note for a second. Then you're going to play 17th fret on the B string again, and you're just going to slide down, you know, to around here above the 12th fret still, because as soon as you get down to this area with your slide, you're going to play 13th fret on the B string, so that'll be right over that fret wire up to 14, okay, and then 14th fret on the uh, G string, okay, so all right, now that's kind of the first measure, okay, again slide up and then hit 17 on the B again and slide 13 to 14 on the B and 14 on the G. Hopefully that's coming out loud enough. Okay, now like I said that's the first measure and um, we're going to go to the second one now. Um, it's going to start off 14th fret on the D string and then we're going to go 14th fret on the G string. So. Again, this is 12, 13, 14. We're going to play over that fret right there. So, 14 on the D. Then 14th fret on the G. Okay, so just two in a row. Just like that. Then we're going to play 15th fret on the uh, B string. So we're going up one fret. And as soon as we play that, we're going to slide up to the 17th fret on the B string. Okay. 
I'm going to hold it there for a second and then let it slide down and kill that note. Okay, so um, these notes will last a lot longer for you when you're actually amplified, going through an amplifier. So um, don't worry if you're playing it um, on acoustic or on electric without the amp and the notes die out kind of quick. That will happen to you until you get the uh, power running through it. Okay, so again, we played 14 to 14, then 15 to 17 on the B. Okay. Then we're going to play on the G string 13. And what we're basically going to do here is we're going to play 13 slide up to 14, but then we're immediately going to play 14th fret two times on the D string. So, okay, just like that. All right. Now that's kind of the first half of that solo seal. Uh, basically play through that and you'll kind of notice it goes back in to a similar sound as the first measure but it's not exactly the same okay so that's the first half then we're kind of starting over again and we're playing from the third fret on the B string again and again we're playing third fret sliding up to 17 and then playing the E string on the 17th fret immediately when we get there okay so we do that again Oh, there's that secondary note. Okay. And after you play that 17th fret on the skinny E string, then you're going to go to a B string. You're going to go 13 to 14. And then immediately, as soon as you get there, play 14 on the G. Okay. So. All right. Then we're going to go uh, back down. We're going to go B string 8 to 9. And then play the 9th fret on the G string. Okay, so one more time. All right. Then this is the last little run of this solo. It's 9th fret. We're staying right there on the 9th fret and playing D string, G string. Okay, so just like that. And then we're going to come back to 7th fret and we're going to play that on the B string and slide it to the ninth fret and then play ninth fret again on the G string oops sorry okay so that measure is basically if you can see my yeah see my right hand too okay and that's the end of that solo what comes next is the actual um, continuation of the solo but it's a different guy and he's not playing slide guitar so we're gonna get to that um, I'll probably make it part of this video but um, it's a different I'm gonna teach you that's a different solo so that's the end of this one and uh, stay tuned for the next one hey guys um, now this is the second solo in Janie May by the ferrets this has got um, the second guitar player playing that red guitar if you've seen the YouTube video um, that's the that's where I learned how to play the song. Um, again, I'm still on my electric guitar, not amplified right now because I've got to uh, fix it. I may actually do a video over that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and go with it. I think using a pick now, I can make a little bit more noise than I did on the slide guitar. So I've turned the microphone down. I apologize for the popping that's on there. I may end up redoing that video for the guy that requested it. But for now, I want to get it to him as quick as I can. Uh, kind of took a long time doing this one so I want to get it to him fast but um, we're gonna go ahead and go on with this solo fortunately I'm a lot better at playing normal picking guitar than slide guitar so let's go ahead and get started um, this happens immediately after or kind of during the slide gu guitar solo part as it's ending this one comes in you know they might overlap each other by you know just a half a beat or something but um, we're basically starting off with a real common um, uh, guitar riff um, almost a Johnny B. Good esque type guitar riff, but uh, basically it's starting off like this. Or sorry. Uh, okay, now it's a pretty simple riff. Um, basically, we're just taking our first finger and barring across the E string and the B string, and I'm starting in the fourth fret, but I'm immediately sliding to the fifth. So we really don't want to hear the fourth fret a whole lot. We just want to hear that slide. 
okay? And the pattern, again, um, I'll go through it fast one more time and then uh, break it down for you. But here it is fast again. Okay, so what ends up happening is we're barred across these two uh, strings and we're going to play fourth fret and slide to fifth and then come back and do it again. We're going to do that three times in a row. So we go one, two, three, and then we finally actually play the fifth fret again, both strings, both strings every time, um, but without sliding. Okay, so it's one, two, three, and then we play it again. Okay, then we slide again, and then play fifth fret on both of them again without sliding two times. Okay, so so far we've got one, two, three, play the fifth fret, one, play the fifth fret again twice, slide one more time, and then fifth fret two more times to cap it off. Okay, so. Okay, that's the exact pattern that he plays. Quick note to mention, if you watch this YouTube video, um, it may be a little confusing because that guy noticed his hands looked weird on the guitar. I've never, I've only seen this on one other, one other guitar player. He's got his guitar, his, uh, basically his guitar flipped over, and um, he's got the skinny strings on top and the thick strings on the bottom. So it's as if I basically flip my guitar around like this. What it looks like he did is it took a right-handed guitar, uh, or let me see, yeah, if I can remember correctly, it looks like he took a right-handed guitar. Yeah, he did, and then flipped it over, and he plays it like this without restringing the strings upside down. So that puts the skinny strings on top and the thick ones on bottom. So it may look a little weird if you watch that video. Um, that's what's going on. So you can't trust how he's playing stuff too well because he's got to do it a little bit differently. But for the most part, we're playing the same frets and everything that he is, but it looks a little different. When he's doing that part, you'll see him sliding up here instead of down here. Okay? And going, instead of him going like that, you'll see him sliding up there. But he's still playing the same notes. So anyways, uh, let's get past that. Just did the first part. Now let's get to the next section. We're staying down here. And um, we're going to start off on the D string, uh, second fret, and we're going to play that note and then hammer on to the fourth fret of the D string. Okay. Then we're going to play second fret on the G string. Okay, so pretty quick. And then we're going to play um, fourth fret on the G string with our pinky, but we're also, as soon as we bend that, we're going to play that note and bend it up. As soon as we bend it up, we've got to use our pinky to play fifth fret on the B string. Okay? We're going to play that a lot here coming up real quick. So you're going to bend that note up and play that note. Okay? And it's far down here, so you may have trouble stretching, but if you need to, pull a couple of fingers up, you know, and that'll be fine. Because uh, you're not playing the second fret back here again until it weighs off, so you're good. Okay? So again, that was... D string, then G string, and then the fourth fret on the G, bending, fifth fret on the B. Okay? So, all right. Now, after that, we're going to go to uh, basically doing the same thing almost, but we're playing it as a chord. So, what you're going to do here is you're going to bend this G string in the fourth fret up, okay? and also include the fifth fret of the B string. So it's kind of making a two note chord here, okay? So you're playing, all right, that's that sound. The B string doesn't move, but the G string does, okay? And basically what's gonna happen is you're gonna bend that up, and once you get it up there, you're gonna play it twice, playing both strings. And so that was three strums on that. One, two, three. And then um, you're going to let it back down, but you don't want to hear it come back down. Just stop the notes and let the string back down. So, And then we're going to do it again, but this time I've got it tabbed right here. We're going to play that uh, four times. So you're going to go one, two, three, four. And then you're going to play it a fifth time and let it down. So there we want to actually hear it come down. And then 2nd fret on the G string, 
fourth fret on the D, second fret on the D. Okay, so that basically going through that's going to be, and then we get that next measure. Okay, so that's that section. We're on to almost halfway, well, basically about halfway through the solo here. So we're kind of repeating this uh, fourth fret to fifth fret sliding deal, except he changes the pattern a little bit. Basically, what you do is you do one thing and then you do it five times in a row. So you're going to start on the fourth fret, E string and B string, barring. And again, you're going to play that fourth fret and slide to fifth. But you're going to immediately go ahead and hit the fifth fret on both strings twice again. Okay, so just like that, three strums. Now that section right there, you're going to repeat five times in a row, just like that. So one, two, three, four, five. Now that's really like Johnny B. Good, you know, that old Chuck Berry song. So uh, full speed is about like this. Okay. Now, as soon as you get done with that, we've got to get up here for our next part. Okay. So as soon as you're done, you know, play those five and then get up here to the 14th fret on the D string. So you can see that a little better. Um, and you're going to play 14th fret and hammer on to 16th fret of the D string. Then play 14th fret on the G string. Okay. Just like that. Now, 16th fret on the G string, bend that note up. Now, um, it's real typical for guitar players to play that next fret up on the B string, but we're not hitting that note this time. This time we're hitting 14th fret on the E string. Should be that note, okay? So, all right. Now, what I do a lot of times is I'll just let go of that bent note because we don't need to hear it yet uh, um, until you know, about a second later, and I just let my first finger kind of bar across the 14th fret on the, B, on the E string. Instead of trying to get my fingertip back here and play that, I just let my finger flatten out across it, so. Okay. Now, as soon as you play that 14th fret on the skinny E string, then you're going to play the 16th fret again on the G string, but push that string up before you pluck before you pluck it, okay? Like that, so. Okay. And then pull off to 14th fret on the G string. And then you're gonna play 16th fret on the uh, D string. And then 14th fret twice on the G string. Okay, so. And then uh, the very last note is actually a combination of the slide guitar and this guitar. And this one is going to play 15th fret, uh, sorry, 15th fret on the skinny E string. And you're going to push the string way up. And you have to go up here. You can't pull down to bend the note because you'll come off the guitar neck. So push it up, play that note, and let it down slowly. Okay, that may be kind of hard to hear. Let's pluck it really loud. Can you hear that? And then vibrato at the end, and then the guitar, or sorry, the uh, lyrics come back in right there. And that, those are the solos. So, anyways, I hope you um, enjoyed the playing these solos, or you enjoy.